Let's meet the visiting Team Chicago Bulls. Action. A cross-conference rivalry between these two teams, Grant. A sign of some high-level basketball in their past. Well, you think about finals history. I mean, that's when the East meets the West in the playoffs. So, sure to expect some fireworks here tonight. So, let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. They've got Alex Caruso. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Nikola Vucevic. Then there's Dasumu, and it's White in at point guard. Now here's Dunn. Pass to Sexton. Shoots over to Sumu. Count it. One for one to start the game. Well, speed is such an important weapon for Colin Sexton, and he gets to the mid-range game. Nice. Now here's DeRozan. Collins defending. And it's DeRozan missing. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for Utah. Here's Dunn. Kessler a screen. Back to Sexton. And it's Desumu with a rebound. Here's DeRozan. The rebound by the Jazz. They defeated Washington in their last game. And that game was all about the depth they have on this roster. Their role players stepped up when they needed it most. And that's exactly what happened. Guys came off the bench ready to play. The offense didn't miss a beat. Now here's Sexton. A 29-point game for him in the win against Washington. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. Doris, have you seen those Lowry Bird nicknames being thrown around for marketing? I have not, B.A., but really, if you think about both the size of Lowry marketing, the position he plays, the numbers he's starting to generate, and obviously the shooting, you could see some general comparison to Larry Bird. And give Lowry credit. I mean, he stepped up and started to deliver in a big way. Now here's Collins. Turned in an outstanding game against Washington. Here's Kessler. And the shot goes. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. DeRozan against Collins. Pass to DeSumo. Now Caruso. White with it. Let's it go from deep. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And finally, a made shot. They look a little relieved after that one. Now here's Dunn. He's guarded by White. Inside. Outside for Sexton. Jacks up a three. Chicago grabs the miss. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. Outside Sexton. Pass to Markinen. And here's Sexton. Market it outside. Shot clock at five. The floater. And it's cleared by Vucevic. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Here's Desumu. Checked by Sexton. Here's Desumu. A 20-point game for him in the win against the Kings in Sacramento. White for three. Drops in the three. White's got six. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Markinen. To the middle. Shot to stop the run. And Collins with the slam. That's just great recognition from your big man, right? Markinen is going to find the open teammate and put it on time and on target. I love this guy's passing skills. Now here's White. Against Sacramento, he was really on his game. That one's off. He's two for three in the game. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. And Grant, despite the lack of a superstar offensive weapon, the Jazz, one of the more efficient offenses. Yeah, B.A. In two areas where they separate themselves, they shoot a ton of threes, and they do a really good job tracking down those long rebounds on the offensive glass. 
this has always been Lowry Markkinen's calling card, right? A seven-footer who can space the floor with that three-point shooting ability. Chicago calls timeout. Checked in for DeMar DeRozan. Terry comes in for DeSumo. And it's Carter in for White. We've got 113 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Terry. He's covered by Clarkson. Back to Vucevic. Fires from 14. And he hits the jumper. Well, anytime someone can knock down mid-range Jays, it opens up the floor. Nikola Vucevic doing just that. Now here's George. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. The three from Sexton. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now, you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Here's Carter. He's averaging almost five points a game. Just four to shoot. Shoots from 12. Sexton grabs the board. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. Clarkson passes to George. 12 seconds left to play in the first. Clarkson outside. George outside. The three is up. Tipped. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Jazz out in front, up by two. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. If you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And from what we've seen from the Jazz, what's your take so far? The aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Here's George. Yet to see a basket. And for Chicago, let's take a look. They've got Javon Carter. Andre Drummond is out there with DeMar DeRozan. And it's Taylor in at the four. Pass to Hendricks. Now you're at seven. Clarkson outside. That three's off the mark. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. DeRozan outside. No good on the three. Utah leading. Markkinen right side. Pass to Hendricks. Fires for three. Chicago grabs the miss. Their last encounter was in Chicago. In their last game against this opponent, they secured the win because their second unit really stepped up. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. And it's DeRozan missing. Utah has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. George against Carter. Here's the pick. Pass to Markkinen. 
Now Clarkson. Back to Markinen. Let's go with a three. That one no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Ryan, the Bulls back in 2021, shifting the roster towards a more veteran win now. Look, they've pushed their chips into the middle. Now they're trying to find their way into contention. All star forward DeMar DeRozan said, quote, we've got to go out there and compete. If we want this thing, we have to go after it. Brian? All right, Alley, thank you. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for your seven. Dasumu, he's checked in for Chicago. White comes in for Carter. Pass to White. Drummond to screen on George. Down low. Here's Terry. Let's the three fly. Can't get it to go. Make it a mo for two. Side, Horton Tucker and the foul is called he missed it so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way well Grant going into these back-to-back -back games do you think coaches are more conscious of the disbursement of minutes in the first game you know they have an idea of the total number of minutes they want their superstar in over the two-day period but it really comes down to how this first game goes take a break take a break two shots And the first one at the line is good. Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's White. He's got six. On the wing, Caruso. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Drummond. The kick out to White. Down to five on the shot clock. Second chance effort. Kessler with a rebound. For Utah, they've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Pass to Dunn. Now here's Markkinen. And here's Kessler. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Collins passes to Horton Tucker. There's the three. First shot won't go. The Bulls have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Now here's DeRozan. Defended by Horton Tucker. Charity stripe shot. DeRozan! Deadly from the mid-range. Well, try as you might, you've got to contest and try to contain DeMar DeRozan. The defense pretty good, but he's even better. Collins with a screen on Caruso. It's marketing with the drive. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. And Doris, we've seen Lowry Markkinen reach new heights as of late. We have B.A. And remember, early in his career, you saw flashes of what was the potential here. Everyone knew Lowry had talent. It's amazing when you find the right situation and then start to consistently play at a high level nightly. The confidence through the roof. Lowry has turned himself into a force. That's good for marketing. Obviously, we've seen Lowry Markkinen make a considerable leap. This guy goes from role player to all-star talent. Colin Sexton's checked in for Horton Tucker. Vucevic, he's checked in for Chicago. Taylor comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Markkinen hits them both. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Chicago trailing here. Now White. He has six. Dasumu, the pass to White. Here's Dasumu. The three ball. Knocks down the triple. Dasumu's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. 
And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Don outside. Drops in the layup for two. And the Jazz lead by one. That's just unreal body control. Chris Dunn really showing up the D with that shot. Pass to DeSumo. Launches it. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. To the paint. Here's Sexton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Sexton's got seven points in the game. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. Up top, Vucevic. Pass to Taylor for three. The rebound by the Jazz. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Sexton passes to Dunn. And here's Markkinen. Now here's Collins. And he lobs it up. Oh, and Markkinen finishes. Yeah, Markkinen, a big-time athlete. Set that lob up in the air and he'll finish. Outside White. Pass to Caruso. Here's Vucevic. Kessler with a rebound. Kessler's got four rebounds in the game. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Marketing against Caruso. Now here's Marketing. He's got seven. Collins with a screen on Caruso. Here's Marketing. The jumper from the wing off target. First half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Jazz. They lead by two. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot. Coach Billy Donovan here with us. And Billy, what have you thought about the defense in the first half? Did a pretty good job. You know, uh, fouled a little bit too much, but overall was a good job. But we got to do a better job offensively ourselves. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Hello, everybody. No lack of drama tonight. The Utah Jazz might be taking this one all the way down to the wire. You could tell they love playing in front of this crowd. The energy helps fuel this team right now. The sixth man is doing their job, Shaq. Yeah, there's no let up in these fans, loyal and loud. And changing gears now, looks like we've got some great interactions on social media. Hoops Queen Life has a question for the Jet. Hey, Kenny, what's it like being the most fashionable guy in the studio every night? Sounds like somebody likes the turtleneck. Well, first of all, thank you. Second, you know, it feels good. Honestly, I don't even really try to dress up. Sometimes I just close my eyes and go in my closet and pick out whatever comes out. Who asked this question? Was it you, Kenny? Let me see your phone. I don't believe it. I have my suspicions as well, Shaq, because we all know I'm the most styling guy in here. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Wow, Colin Sexton displaying all his skills today. You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. Well, perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency. This guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy. What a great half. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. 
Collins and Kessler playing up front. Chris Dunn is out there with Colin Sexton, and it's Markkinen in at the three. And that's the group for Will Hardy as we begin the second half. Now here's Dunn. Five on the clock. Here's Collins. No good. Good work defensively by DeRozan. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Zach Levine talked about his path to stardom. He said, quote, I've always viewed myself as a top-tier player, and I put in the work. If you expect yourself to be here, it's something that you have to go out and show each and every day. I feel like I've done that. Brian, that confidence was there from day one. He's big time, Allie. Thanks for that. Man, that's a big time fearless move from Colin Sexton. Put it home, young sir. You know, when analyzing the game of Colin Sexton, this is a guy who can score from all three levels, Grant. You know, this is what his team has asked him to do, to be aggressive on offense and to shoot the ball with confidence, too. Yeah. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. That's good from DeRozan. Great scorers know how to knock in free throws. DeMar DeRozan, not the guy you want to foul. on both and if you're just joining us we play just over a minute here in the third done the pass to marketing there rose it against Collins done outside clock at six the 11 footer and Collins with the slam yeah, good luck keeping up with the elite speed of Chris Dunn in the pick and roll. So efficient with his passing and shooting in these sets. Now here's White. He has six. Here's DeSumo. DeRozan outside. Fires from deep. The shot misses. The Jazz have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Now here's Dunn, covered by Vucevic. Dunn, the pass to Kessler. Back to Dunn. A shot from the low post is good. Dunn. Now it's a six-point Utah lead. Yeah, I really admire the poise of Chris Dunn, appearing totally comfortable in the paint. Right, the pass to DeRozan. Shoots over Collins. And DeRozan with the basket. On the assist by White. White's got three assists in the game. And so Sexton will bring it up for the Jazz. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. We are getting deep in the season. Let's see the standings out east. You look at Chicago, the season is winding down. They sit ninth on the outside looking in currently. Checking out the Bulls. They're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. You know, it's got to be frustrating for them. You can't dwell on the past. You've got to think forward, work together, and play for one another. Now here's DeRozan, averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. Three on the clock. Fires away from way outside. Kessler with a rebound. Kessler's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Dunn. And it's Tsumu with a rebound. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Here's White. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got rebound number five here tonight. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Sexton passes to Kessler. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Kessler's got his second basket of the night. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Pass to White. Vucevic with it. Kessler on him. 
Vucevic with it. His numbers are solid, putting up around 18 points a game. Two minutes remaining in the third. Done outside. Now Markkinen. He's guarded by Caruso. Outside Sexton. Nails it from beyond the arc. Sexton's got 12 points in the game. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And no doubt, the coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Taylor, he's checked in for Chicago. Terry comes in for Caruso. And here we have a rundown of the teams with the best rebounding numbers this season. In the third spot, Utah. This team has done a great job of hitting the boards, and they do tremendous work boxing out. One forty-one left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Terry. He's covered by Clarkson. Picked by Vucevic. White the pass to Vucevic. You've got to be careful how you guard Nikola Vucevic. This guy is so good at forcing the defense to hit him on the way to the cup. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Jazz. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. And that one falls for Vucevic. Well, Nikola Vucevic is a capable back-to-the-basket scorer, and he plays with tremendous confidence, guys. Samanic is checked in for Utah. George comes in for Dunn. And so Vucevic nails both of them. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. George against Carter. They set the screen to the inside. Kicks it out to Clarkson for three. The shot comes out. The Bulls have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Terry, the pass to Carter. Vucevic, a screen on George. Carter, and he makes it on the layup. Carter's got his second basket on the night. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Clarkson outside. It's stolen. And he's all alone. Ahead, here's Vucevic. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Now just a three-point Utah lead. Clarkson passes to George. Clarkson outside. Good. And the Jazz lead by five. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. George against Carter. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Phillips. Here's Taylor. Drills it from deep. Taylor's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Yeah, he's really giving up size in that matchup. But on the perimeter, he can find the room he needs. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Jazz out in front. They're up by two. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return.
And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court for the Bulls, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Andre Drummond. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Javon Carter. And it's Terry in at the two. Here's Taylor. Drummond to screen on Marketing. Here's Taylor to tie it up. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First team foul. Shooting for Chicago, Terry Taylor. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Second free throw is good. Utah leading. Clarkson outside. With a nine-footer. Misses off the left iron. Well, she's up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Pass to Drummond. Here's Taylor. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. And here's George. They'll bring it up for Utah. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Next up, they'll face the Nuggets in Denver. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Well, this has not been his finest hour. But give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping on, in. Coming down the stretch, it's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. Pass to Markkinen. Markkinen sets a screen. And here's Clarkson. This one for three. Gets the three to fall. And the Jazz lead by two. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. Here's Terry. Defended by Horton Tucker. Ooh, a good look from Carter. Again, the ball score. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. For Utah, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Hendricks. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Markkinen. Wow! Markkinen leaving his mark inside. But Lowry Markkinen's frame, little contact, not going to bother him. He powers right through it. Carter against George. Carter, the pass to DeRozan. Sinks it from distance. Puts one in the eye of the defense. First triple of the evening. Now a timeout called by Utah. Started. here. Vucevic, he's checked in for Drummond. Caruso comes in for Taylor. Dasumu, he's checked in for Terry. And it's White in for Carter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Will Hardy was going over with his team. He likes the way they're finishing inside. Coach said when we get close, we are golden. They can't stop us in there. Let's keep pounding it as long as we can. Okay, thanks Allie.
Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Done. The pass to Markkinen. And the foul on Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Kessler pass to Sexton just five to shoot Markkinen sets a screen there's the three rebound by the Bulls and lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league here's DeRozan the rebound by the Jazz Kessler's got six rebounds now in the game. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. Now here's Caruso. White finds DeRozan. Pass to Vucevic. Outside White. Nasunmu for three. Rolls around and rims out. Utah trailing here. Now done. That shot off the mark. Good work defensively by White. And up the court come the Bulls on the break. And here's Caruso outside. And the three-pointer goes. With the defense trying to protect the interior, he pulls at the arc and drains it. Caruso against Markkinen. And he's going for the oop here. Sexton passes to Kessler. Now here's Sexton from downtown. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. Well, Sexton might be young, but he is unafraid and unabashed. What a play. DeRozan against Collins. Vucevic, a screen on Collins. Here's DeRozan. Goes back up. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. That one on Kessler. Wow, Vucevic with a big-time delivery. The Montenegrin says, that's my shot. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Well, this is the kind of player he is. The tougher the moment, the more he elevates his game. The Jazz have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Caruso against Markham. Inside. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. There's a minute 12 left in the fourth quarter. Vucevic's shot is off. Utah's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Here's Dunn. Got a hand on it. Now here's DeRozan. No problem for DeRozan at the rim. And this is why they want the ball in DeRozan's hand. This guy is stone cold under pressure. Utah calls timeout. They're behind by six. 51 seconds left in the fourth. Seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Markkinen against Caruso. Collins with a screen on Caruso. Markkinen 
money. And now they trail by just four. Okay, Mr. Markin and coming through in the clutch. We see you, young sir. The help from Markin. And an intentional foul right there. Kessler. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Nikola Vucevic. Taking two shots. Oh, the first one drops, and that puts him up five. And so he drops them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, it's about the little details. Capitalize at the free throw line, add to your lead. Time out, time out. And Utah calls time here. They're behind by six. 29 seconds left in the game. second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Market and misses. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Alex Caruso. At the line for two. Shooting two. Get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And it looks like they just won't have enough left here at the end. Yeah, they simply ran out of time and energy. Market and misses. Now here's White. Defense right on him. here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure, but they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in as New Balance presents our player of the game, DeMar DeRozan.